Kevin Holland Drake is the post office minister, and he said the quiet bit out loud on today's morning round. This week, Tory scandal is racing from remarks by the Tory donor Frank Hester. Big question people want to know is that are they returning the 10 million donation and are they revoking any Conservative membership? The quick and easy answer to these questions is no. And over the last couple of days, we've seen white middle-aged men bending over backwards to claim another white middle-aged man isn't racist because his money is more important. After all, this is an election year and they need all the money they can get. They did start falling down the same trap as Lee Anderson by saying that it was wrong or it was inappropriate, but they have now actually said that the comments were made were racist, but everybody should now just move on because they still want to keep the money. What do you think though? Let me know down in the comments, should they give the money back? Now, I don't know if this was because he was put on the spot or if he went off script, but admitting you'd happily take more money from him probably isn't something that they'd want to announce. Have a watch. Can I also ask you about uh, this racism row facing the Conservative Party again this morning? Uh, your top donor, Frank Hester, is alleged to have made comments in 2019 about the, the then Labour MP, Diane Abbott. Um, do you think what he said was racist? Yes, I do. I mean, you don't judge somebody's character by their skin colour. It's totally wrong what he said. So why did it take 24 hours nearly for the Prime Minister to say it was racist? Well, I, I don't, I don't uh, know the Prime Minister's movements yesterday. I, what I saw from, uh, from Number 10 was a clear statement that they felt it was racist. You know, I, we're not a racist party. I, I've never met Miss Hester. I don't think he's a racist person. I think he said something was stupid, completely inappropriate. We all say stupid things at times. I don't think people generally say something as stupid as that. But he's apologised. I think we should try and move on from that. Uh, I guess, given his own heritage, that made people even more surprised that Mr Sunak wasn't quicker to condemn this as racism. Um, were you as ministers, as, as a, a government team, being told yesterday, before the Prime Minister uh, said it was racist, not to say it was racist or deny it was racist? No. That Mr Hester had apologised. What was he apologising for? Then that com comment was completely inappropriate. But you can see that people watching yesterday and now today and hearing the change in language, change in tone, might think that the Prime Minister didn't have a grip on this. And I know he's got lots of stuff on his plate, but this was the big story yesterday. It's the big story again today. And it seems like there wasn't a great deal of direction or consistency coming from number 10. Well, you can assess what he said in lots of different ways. But I think in terms of how I read it, how I see it, he was talking about uh, Diane Abbott's skin colour and and, assess, uh, and, uh, and and using that as a way to judge her character. That's absolutely the wrong thing to do and he's apologised for it. The Prime Minister's been clear it was the wrong thing to say and it's right that he apologises. Uh, you know, I don't believe Mr Hester is a racist person. I've never met him. I can't make, really make that judgement but um, we should people, we should always uh, try and judge people's character um, in, in the most, uh, you know, in, in terms of fairly. Um, based on what they say and he's, uh, what he said here in a private conversation half a decade ago, he's apologised for. I don't think we need to spend too much time on that, but given the, he's made that apology. And a lot of people, even within your own party, are saying this morning that that, that doesn't sit right, that you should give the money back. Do you agree? No, I, I don't agree with that. If Mr Hester was a racist, if he, if he refused to apologise for what he said, that would be different. I think a lot of people watching this programme have been deeply shocked by this story over the last, uh, what, 36 hours now. And for them, it is a big issue because it tells them a lot about the government and what the government thinks and how it operates and about community cohesion. And they've been really disturbed by this and they would like you to give the money back. I mean, if, if Mr Hester today said, right, I'd like to give you another £10 million... Would you take it? Well, on the basis that we don't believe Miss Hester is a racist, yes. But I've, I've got to say, all these people I spoke to yesterday, I spoke to members of the public and, and postmasters and many other people, nobody mentioned this story to me in terms of the context of what we're trying to do, which is overturn convictions and pay people compensation. That's what I'm really focused on, and I think quite rightly so. So let's just be absolutely clear. Yesterday, the Prime Minister said that this man's alleged comments were racist and wrong... And you say if this same man wanted to give another £10 million today to the Conservative Party, you'd take the money. Yes, that's how I understand the situation, yes. Now, it could all be going completely wrong because this has happened. Possibly a number 10 not really concentrating, perhaps not being on it enough today to deal with 
the racism scandal until this late uh, moment, but maybe there's a reason for that, and maybe that reason is linked to what I'm about to tell you. I've discovered that last night, Rishi Sunak had a private, secret meeting with Sir Graham Brady, the chairman of the 1922 committee. Now, there was always going to be a meeting with a slightly bigger group of people of Sir Graham Brady and his executive with the Prime Minister. That's normal and routine. But Graham Brady appears to have requested an additional one-on-one -on -one meeting that nobody else was present for on top of that. That is significant, Sophie, because when that happens... How can I put this? It, it often means something's up. Now, I can't tell you what was said in that meeting. I can't tell you any account of what's happening because n nobody wants to go into detail. I just know that it was not on the schedule and people were surprised that it mm. took place. The last equivalent meeting like that took place just before Liz Truss was dethroned when Sir Graham Brady went to see Jeremy Hunt, who at that point was a pivotal figure in that administration to warn him about what was happening. Uh, at that point, there seemed to be sufficient letters potentially going in for a vote of no confidence. There is chat about letters. There is a massive, massive list of things that Tory MPs are unhappy about, from the uh, racism uh, scandal that you've just been talking about, to the defection of Lee Anderson, to the poor handling of the budget, to the fact that Tories are 27 points behind in some of the polls, to the fact that they know that they're going to be getting a huge drubbing in the local elections. The question of when the election should be is still live because Number 10 haven't completely shut that down. There are problems everywhere you look. So when Graham Brady requests a secret meeting with Rishi Sunak, at least one eyebrow gets raised quite high. Last week's Tory scandal was all about Lee Anderson. He's now joined the Reform Party because his mum has told him to. And if you want to know what that's about, then you need to watch the video that's on screen now. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you next time.